Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today we're going to show you how to use a Leica M6. And this is a very, very nice camera made by Leica. Has a lot of uh, clout online nowadays. And there's two versions, the Leica M6 Classic and the TTL. This is the Classic, and you can know that because the shutter speed dial is actually small and the same as the M3, M2, M4, and so on. The TTL has a bigger one, is slightly taller, and it shows usually if it has 0.72 magnification, 0.85, and a few other little things. So let's start by showing you a little bit about the camera. First things first, to release the lens, you have this little red button here, which you press and you basically turn and remove the lens. As you can see, it's a bayonet mount. It's the Leica M. You can use LTM lenses too. And this camera has a light meter. Uh, it's a fully mechanical camera. The light meter only uh, works if you have batteries on it. If not, you're just uh, on your own. You have the light meter with an external meter, Sunny 16 or whatever. And it reads from that white patch that's there. It actually has a little eye that's on the side here. You barely can see it, but it's in there. And it reads through uh, basically the film plane. So first of all, well, let's install batteries. For that, we have this little cap on the front. We unscrew this all the way. And once we unscrew it all the way, we can put on batteries. It uses two LR44s and it shows here, actually the plus sign has to go upwards. So we put them with a minus going down and another one down. And when you, we try to put it in, it actually is sort of spring loaded. So just don't be worried if it's a little hard at the beginning. It actually took me a few seconds to do it before the video, but now that is installed. So now the light meter is active. The light meter represents in two little red arrows in the on the bottom of the frame of the viewfinder. Basically, has an arrow one way or the other, and when they're both, uh, you know, on, it means your light is good to go. But do remember, it's metering through the lens, so you take your choices how you want to expose. Then let's go through a bit of the body. So we have the M mount bayonet. This is the release button. This is the self timer. Um, with, no, sorry, this is the actually um, lens uh, viewfinder exposures. So as you move this, you actually are moving a cam inside the camera showing you different frame lines. So we mount the lens, it can go from 50 mil to 90 mil to 28 mil to 35. And this camera has multiple frame lines combinations. So you just have to look up in the manual what frame line combinations you're using. It has so many that I actually get confused every time and I have to Google it every single time because it's just a mess. I'm used to an M2 and M3, they're way cleaner frame lines there. So in this case, we're gonna mount a Noctilux 50 mil. We have the red dot on the lens. We have the red dot on the camera, not this one, this one. So we align both and then now we just turn it clockwise till we hear a snap. The lenses are uncoupled in, the, in basically the aperture. So if we stop down this lens, past anything, you can see how it stops down and it's giving a current reading to that spot on the body. But you're not gonna notice a difference through the viewfinder because it's not through the lens, it's a range finder. So make sure you know what you're doing before you use it. So let's start with the lens. Lens, F1, maximum aperture, F1.4, and has half clicks, F2, 2.8, F4, blah, 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 all the way to 16. As you can see, it basically stops down quite a bit. Then we have focusing. This is the focusing range from one meter. Most of these Noctiluxes go to one meter to infinity. And then we have the hyperfocal uh, basically chart here, F16 to F1, uh, depending on where we're focused. So hyperfocal means that we're in F16 and we are aligning the 16 to the infinity. We're focused from everything from 2.8 meters approximately or nine feet all the way to infinity, we can shoot without having to focus again. That's the cool thing about uh, rangefinders or cameras that have those scales. This Nikon also has that, or the Hasselblad. So that's how you use the lens, not much else. Just choose your aperture of choice and match it with the shutter speed. So let's go to the body again. Like I said, this is to see different frame lines. You can change them also when it's mounted, so you can actually see different frame lines. We have the rewind lever here, uh, the strap lugs here, on the bottom is the plate for tripod, um, basically tripod screw, and the plate to load film. So then we go to the other side, on the, or the back basically of the camera. This is the ISO dial. This is important if you're using the light meter. If your light meter is busted, don't use it, maybe as a reminder. But this we just have to push and twist to the ISO of choice. We have the ISOs from 6,400 all the way to six. So make sure you put the accurate one. We have 
a PC sync here, which I removed. Uh, this is for flash, and we also have a hot shoe. So we have a, a hot shoe here with a single port. And this is the viewfinder, which you have to use. This is the rewind, um, basically spindle, rewind knob, and then we have the shutter button with a screw for cable release, and we have a, our advanced lever so we can advance film. This is the frame counter from frame zero till one when you're loading all the way to 24 or 36, 37, 38. Shutter speeds here. So we have all the way from one second all the way to flash sync at 1 45th of a second. Anything from there down will be flash synced. Anything over, you'll have issues with flash and then you go max shutter speed of one 1000. Okay, so that's all there is basically to the camera. This is the basically focal plane of the film for macro shots. Not that you're gonna be shooting much macro with a Leica M6. So yeah, basically that's all there is to it. To focus, like I said, you basically have a rangefinder, has a rangefinder patch, which is using this little window and this little, a big window with this for the frame lines to show you the distance. Uh, and basically with a rangefinder, you have two little like overlaying images that when they're perfectly sharp, both of them, you're focused at whatever object, be it a lamppost, a person, a dog or whatever you're shooting. And that's not much else for the camera. Let's load some film to show you quickly, but basically we lift this and we twist it and we remove the plate. This plate is prone to falling off your pocket, so put it in your pocket somewhere safe. And as you can see, there's a little drawing here. We can actually open the film door at the back. We have a roll of film, and this camera designed, basically the M4 and this camera have the better loading for a lot of people for Leica, which is kind of like a drop in and forget. So we just have to do what they show, is pull the film all the way here, put it through the tulip here, and if we need to rewind it a bit, we can rewind it. Push it all the way in, and make sure it's all the way in. You see how now it's a bit uh, not straight, so we have to kind of push it all the way to where we want it. Sometimes we need to maybe rewind a little bit in this case. Uh, let me rewind a little bit there. So it goes all the way there. And now we can shoot and advance, and you'll see how that goes forward. If it's not going forward, help it. There we go. Now that's loaded, basically. And you can see that it's going around this tulip. And this is prone for, to accident sometimes, but I'll show you a few tricks. Once we have that there, we put this metal uh, button there, push the pressure plate, and that's it. And what you want to do when you're shooting is basically when you load, is see that this is advancing. So we're going to go to frame zero. And there, you can tension this to see if there's film. If you feel that tension, it's good. And when we start shooting through frame one through 36, we basically shoot, advance. If we don't see this turning, that's a problem. That means the film didn't engage properly. We can push the rewind. We can rewind the film and then shoot again. But like, basically that's all you have to do. As you notice when I click the rewind, now when I shot, it disengaged again. So that's important you take note. <laughs> few things you want to know about Leica cameras. First of all, the lenses can be exchanged mid-roll, which is good, but this is a cloth shutter. So if this lens is at any point mounted on the body and kind of like focused somewhere towards infinity and any sun goes through the lens, it's going to do a magnifying glass onto that cloth shutter and burn a hole on your shutter. This is going to take approximately three seconds if you're not careful. So anytime you're out there and there's sun, either put your camera lens down, put it pointing away from the sun. Let's say the gold is the sun. You don't want it like that. You want it like that. If you can and you have a lens cap, just put the lens cap on and forget about it. Problem with lens caps on Leica cameras, you can't see them through the viewfinder as it's a rangefinder. So you'll do like many other people, shoot with a lens cap and realize later. So do remember to take off the lens cap or be very careful with the position of the sun when you're shooting film. Like I said, best thing you have to do is see that this is spinning when you're shooting, okay, like that. Then not point this at the sun for very long. Try not to. It'll burn through your shutter very, very fast. And that's about it. Enjoy your camera. I mean, the Leica M6 is one of those famous cameras, has the red dot, which a lot of people love. I don't really like it. I think it's too flashy. But yeah, it's a nice camera, very easy to use, kind of doesn't get in the way of shooting. And like I said, when you want to shoot,
just do that combination of shutter speed and aperture and try to align both um, light meter arrows to get the perfect exposure. It's very, very simple to use. Or if you don't like batteries and light meters in your camera like me, just meter Sunny 16 or with an external meter. But yeah, do remember to change the ISO. So you press and you turn. In this case, we loaded HP5. So we go to 400. So it would be basically there. And that is 400. And now we're ready to be shooting on our way. So yeah, if you have any questions, I know this is a camera most people should not use, but I think it's important to show people uh, because a lot of people are picking up a Leica M6 as their first uh, proper Leica camera. And sometimes it's hard to ask questions when you're like, how do you do this on an M6? And people will make fun of you. This is the video for you guys. I hope it helps you and you enjoy this camera. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.